I wanted to be a police officer since I was a kid. I just wanted to help people. It's the same thing that motivated me to join the service and join the Marines, is just the ability to help people, change people's lives, and just do something positive. My favorite thing I would say is just being able to help people. Growing up, I always knew police officers are someone you could go to when you need help, and I wanted to be in a position where I could help a large number of people on a daily basis. I like to help people. Uh, in the past, where the community where I grew up in Chinatown, I saw a lot of crimes. My friends, my aunts were getting robbed. And that was one of the things that, you know, I like to have myself involved and help the community. My favorite thing of being a police officer, I think it's truly helping others out. I really do. I really enjoy that. I love just meeting new people. I think Boston has a tremendous amount of, you know, good, hardworking folks here. A typical day is me coming to work excited about interacting with mainly the youth in my community. The youth are kind of my those are my babies, that's my heart. Although I am happy to service all members of our community, um, my heart is really in the youth. I like to engage the kids first. I like to inspire them. I like to let them know that they, you know, there's nothing that they can't do. My best day, I would say I have to say some of my best days was uh, crossing the little kids through on the crosswalk, believe it or not. <laughs> it was so fun. You see the kids line up crossing the street, I'll high five them. And that kind of makes my day when, when I see them gets really happy, excited. They get really excited when I see the police in uniform. I could help the old person cross the street and then I could have a kid coming up to me asking me questions. Or I could have a more complex situation and help someone with a domestic violence issue or help someone get connected to services. The day that stands out most significantly in my mind is the ride home from Watertown after the apprehension of the Marathon Bomber. I was assigned to the SWAT team at the time. And uh, we were the first tactical unit to be on scene in Watertown at that boat where Joe Harzanayev was, was held up. When we got to take him into custody alive to stand trial and answer for his crimes, that was wonderful. But what none of us were expecting <laughs> the ride home. People lined the streets for us. Spontaneously, without, without anyone telling anyone, they all just did it. From Watertown all the way to Roxbury. People just lined the streets, a spontaneous like parade almost, to thank us. It was incredible, incredible. When I see police officers around the country being attacked, it attacks me as well because those are my brothers and sisters in blue. Seeing officers get attacked in Boston and throughout the country, it makes me feel uneasy. I know it's not a safe job that we're in, but I wouldn't say it's part of the job. It shouldn't be part of the job not knowing if someone's gonna ambush you or attack you. It breaks my heart to see um, officers out there getting hurt by these uh, protesters or what have you. Um, and also things that, things that may happen in other part of the state, country, doesn't happen here. I just want people to know that Boston police officers are human beings as well. We hurt, we cry, we bleed just the same as, as you do. The biggest thing is just learning to be able to talk to people, having a conversation with someone on the street, um, and, you know, so people can see that we're, we are human. You just got to give us a chance. Enable us to do what we got to do. See us in the, in the true light. Don't paint us with the same brush that you paint us all. And that's why I tell the young kids, sometimes we're all painted with the same brush. One kid does something bad, they're all bad. Police officer sounds like that, they're all bad. And that's not true. The men and women that I serve with and throughout this department, they go out there every day. When the odds are stacked against them, you know, they're not sure if they're going to come home at night safely. But they go out and they give their best every day. My uniform is something that I put on every day to do a job. But at the end of the day, I go home just like you, to my family and my friends. I need the community to know that when police officers take the oath to serve and protect their community, that that is the goal each and every day. We believe in our city. We love our city. And someone who's got a, a pitch to sell is trying to tell the public that we don't. And it breaks my heart because I'd lay my life down 
for anyone in the city to keep them safe. And the men and women that I work with would all do the same. I am Officer Michael Jones. I'm Officer Will Chan. I am Officer Cynthia Brewington. Officer Andrew Medina. I am Officer Tim Hancock. Officer Elvis Garcia. Artie DePino. I am Officer Peggy Ricard. And I am. And I am. And I am. I am. I am the BPPA. I am the BPPA. I am the BPPA.